Gerard Terborch, also known as Gerard Terberg, was a Dutch genre painter who lived during the Dutch Golden Age. He was born in 1617 in the Netherlands. Gerard Terborch was known for his influence on fellow Dutch painters such as Gabriel Metsu, Gerrit Do, Eglon van der Neer, and Johannes Vermeer. He established a new framework for subject matter, bringing viewers into the intimate spaces of home life and skillfully hinting at the inner lives of his figures. Although his influence as a painter was significant, he was later surpassed by Vermeer. Gerard Terborch's innovative approach to genre painting allowed him to capture the uncertainties and complexities of human experience. His ability to depict the private lives of his subjects added depth and richness to his artworks. Through his artistic contributions, he left a lasting impact on the development of Dutch genre painting during the Golden Age. Gerard Terborch's Travels and Influences Gerard Terborch, born in December 1617 in Zwolle, the Dutch Republic, received a remarkable education from his father, Gerard Terborch the Elder, who was also an artist. Terborch developed his talent at a young age and began his artistic journey early on. He studied under artists such as Willem Cornelis Dijster and Peter Codd in Amsterdam, where he stayed until 1632. The influence of Dijster can be seen in one of Terborch's paintings from 1638, which is now part of the Ionides' bequest. He then continued his studies under Peter de Maline in Harlem in 1634, and a notable work from this period is the Consultation at the Berlin Gallery. In 1635, Terborch traveled to London and later explored Germany, France, Spain, and Italy. He also had a talented sister, Jezina, who became a painter. During his time in Rome in 1641, Terborch painted small portraits on copper, including those of Jan VI, a young lady, and a gentleman. In 1648, he was present in Munster during the negotiation of the Treaty of Munster, which ended the Eighty Years' War and the Dutch Republic's recognition as an independent nation. Terborch's Mature Period and Influence Following his extensive travels, Gerard Terborch entered a mature period of his career. He developed a distinctive style characterized by his attention to detail, use of light and shadow, and ability to capture intimate moments in his paintings. Terborch's subjects often included scenes of daily life, such as elegant gatherings, musical performances, and domestic scenes. His work, The Paternal Admonition, from 1654 is a prime example of his ability to depict the subtleties of human interaction. Terborch's mastery of capturing expressions and emotions in his subjects made him highly sought after as a portrait painter. He had a keen eye for capturing the personality and character of his sitters. During this period, he painted notable works such as The Music Lesson and The Glass of Lemonade. Terborch's influence extended beyond his own artistic achievements and inspired other painters, including his son, Marie Joseph, as well as François André Vincent, Jean Antoine Theodore Girist, Jean Baptiste Regnault, and many more. Later Years and Legacy Despite the challenges posed by the political and social upheavals of his time, Gerard Terborch continued to produce art in his later years. In 1669, he was appointed as a counselor in Daventer, where he settled and continued to paint until his death. Terborch's later works reflect a shift towards more introspective and introspective subjects, such as Curiosity and The Duet, Singer and Theorbo Player. His ability to evoke emotion and capture the subtleties of human relationships remained consistent throughout his career. Terborch's talent was recognized by his contemporaries, and his works were highly sought after by collectors. Today, his paintings can be found in prestigious museums around the world, including the Louvre and the Rijksmuseum. Gerard Terborch's legacy as a master painter and his influence on subsequent generations of artists solidify his place in art history. In conclusion, Gerard Terborch was a Dutch genre painter of the Dutch Golden Age who left a lasting impact on the art world. His innovative approach to capturing intimate moments and the complexities of human experience added depth and richness to his artworks. Despite being surpassed by Vermeer in later years, Terborch's influence on fellow Dutch painters and his contributions to the development of genre painting during the Golden Age cannot be overlooked. 
His attention to detail, use of light and shadow, and ability to evoke emotion made him highly sought after as both a genre and portrait painter. Terborcha's legacy lives on through his paintings, which can be found in esteemed museums worldwide.